November 22nd, 1963, a date that would forever be etched in the annals of American history. It was a day of shock and disbelief as the news of President John F. Kennedy's assassination spread like wildfire across the nation. The country was thrown into a whirlwind of confusion with questions swirling and conspiracy theories brewing, yet amidst the chaos and uncertainty, a glimmer of hope emerged, a promise of answers and clarity, this beacon of hope was none other than the Warren Commission. Seven days after the tragic event, President Lyndon B. Johnson established what was officially known as the President's Commission on the Assassination of President Kennedy. The purpose? To shed light on the circumstances surrounding JFK's assassination. The team assembled for this monumental task was led by none other than Chief Justice Earl Warren, and included a mix of senators, representatives, and former CIA members. With a task of monumental importance, the Warren Commission embarked on a 10-month investigation. The Warren Commission, armed with resources and resolve, dived deep into the murky waters of conspiracy theories and conflicting reports. With rigorous scrutiny, they pored over FBI and Secret Service records, held public hearings, and conducted private interviews. No stone was left unturned, no lead was too insignificant. Their dedication to unveiling the truth was unwavering as they navigated through a labyrinth of intrigue and speculation. After an exhaustive investigation, the Commission was ready to share its findings with the world. On September 24, 1964, the Warren Commission presented its 888-page report to President Johnson. The report's primary conclusion was that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in assassinating President John F. Kennedy. It firmly dismissed any notion of a broader conspiracy, whether within our borders or beyond. Yet the Warren Report, for all its thoroughness, didn't quell every doubt. Despite the Warren Commission's efforts to provide clarity, debates and doubts persist, keeping the event alive in the nation's collective memory.